Hey you guys, okay so today, so excited. We have so many things to talk about in this video, not just what I picked up during the Sephora Beauty Insider event, but also, I found the perfect makeup mirror. It's inexpensive, I found just the most craziest place. Not crazy, but unexpected for a makeup mirror. I will share that, and I'm gonna talk about this top, so. Oh no, we're just gonna kinda go for it, but um, as I do every time these Beauty Insider events hit, which, today's Thursday. Hopefully, I'm gonna post this on Thursday. Tomorrow, the 20th, so you might be watching this on Friday the 20th, I don't know. That is when the events open to everyone. VIB, Beauty Insiders, Rouge could shop again. Last weekend was the kind of like the pre-sale event for Rouge members. But yeah, everyone can shop. I will put everyone's different code below because every tier sort of needs to use their own code for it to work. Depending on your tier, you get a different discount. So I will put that below. So yeah, I have a lot to share with you guys, but I always do two videos during this time. One during the pre-sale, um, during the Rouge sale, which is like when I tell you guys like Rex, uh, for those of you that want to shop during that time, and then I always share with you guys my wish list. And I kind of replaced that in that video with my um, Anastasia Soft Glam tutorial. So check that out. I did use it again today. But y'all, I'm, I'm pretty picky about them in this one. So good. The last look that I did was kind of orangey. Kind of like, I mean, the orangey makeup's kind of be kind of been like trendy for a while. Warm browns, kind of the orangey. I really like that. But this has kind of everything. So um, today I didn't do a look that was so much like that. I kind of used some more like plummy colors and a little, you know. But um, but you can do a lot with it, night or day. So um, still a good wreck. You guys, oh my gosh, I got so many good things. I always film those wreck videos, or I film any, really any video, and then I kick myself afterwards because I'm like, oh, I didn't talk about this or I didn't talk about that. I had this out literally to talk about and I didn't, I'd had this for a little while and I really wanted to give you guys, the, well, who cares, you can shop again now, like Rouge members can shop again, so it's not like we missed out, but the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial, you guys. So this says it kind of like, um, it's a mask, so you use it once a week. It has 25% AHA, 2% BHA, and the idea is that it kind of like exfoliates off your dead skin and it cleans out the, the dead like lining of your pores. It literally says that, which sounds pretty satisfying. It really made my skin look and feel like smooth and kind of like plumped up. Um, I've used it twice so far, only use it once a week. I really, really loved it. So good. Try this out. Two fragrances, you guys. I talked about the Wood Sage and Sea Salt, the Jill Malone, still huge, huge wreck. <gasps> I got the candle. Let me, let, let me just talk about these fragrances and then I'll talk about the candle. If you can get a fragrance like on at a discount, like grab it. So I got one for me and one for Brad. I got the Versace Bright Crystal, which is something that I've seen for a long time. It's that one that we that we always see. I bought the smallest size, and it still has this big, like, pretty obnoxious top, which I think is super fun. Don't worry about it. Like, sometimes when you buy, don't you hate that? I probably should have sprayed that directly onto the flame. Like, if you ever want, like, a perfume or something, and you get the smallest size, then it comes in the bottles, like, not as cute as the bigger ones. I think this one's even cuter than the larger ones, but okay. I would describe it as very fruity and floral. Like a scent you would just think of being like young or something that could go cheap smelling very easily. You know what I'm saying. Hey, I'm, I'm all good with like a cheap smelling fragrance every now and then. But you guys, it's a grown up version of that. It smells like luxe. It smells like very spring, summer. I really enjoyed it. And when I wore it, Brad was like, well, I like that. So I like him to like what I'm wearing, you know? All right, so the replica. Uh, what's it called? At the Barbers. This is an amazing men's fragrance. Y'all, such a sexy, like, clean man fragrance that doesn't smell like too overbearing and like cologne and cheesy and it doesn't smell like soap. You know what I mean? So good. So, Y'all, At the Barbers. Okay, so he loves that so much and he kind of gets excited about new things too. So I was like, I'm gonna surprise him. So I got him this one, which is a new one that I saw called Replica Sailing Day. It says, the fragrance description is aquatic deep sea and it says it's a female and a male fragrance. So I didn't see that when I ordered it. When I ordered it, I thought, ooh, when I first pulled it out, I thought I don't want it to smell too like feminine or he probably won't like it. He loves this more than the barbers. I think I might too. To me, men's colognes smell one of two ways. Like I said, heavy, cheesy. There's a fine line between the good ones in the middle. Or then it's like very, you can tell it's that like blue, you know, the ones that are blue have that certain smell. Where they're just kind of like clean, soap, a little fruity, a little green maybe. I don't know. This one is the perfect balance leaning a little bit blue. Okay, do you, do you know what I'm saying? So good, so like sexy and manly, but yet has that like freshness. I don't think I would personally wear it. 
it smells very manly. Okay, I was looking for the, I think I threw away the packaging, but this was a new thing. Um, it's the, oh gosh, the Dior Addict Lacquer and Plump, and it's in the color Glitterati. Almost feels like watery, like it just melts in to your lips. It has just a very fresh, like kind of nothing smell. It feels almost like alcoholy or something, but not. Do you know what I'm saying? Have you ever used one of those liquid lipsticks that feel like that? Like it's just thin and just melts into your lips. That's what this feels like, but it doesn't set. It doesn't look goopy, and that's what I love. Like you have the color and the look of kind of like a liquid lipstick, but a little like, a little shinier, but it doesn't, it's not like matte and set or anything. Now I'm like itching to buy more of the colors to try. What else, you guys? Okay, I repurchased my old favorite. Purposely did not wear highlight today because I wanted to put this on with you guys. Where's my brush? Oh, I gotta show you the makeup mirror. We will in a minute. Okay. Now, I was not always on the highlight train, and it is a train that I think we've all jumped on. I think we've all gone overboard. I think it is a thing. I love it. I'm not knocking it. But I'm very picky about it, and when I first started wearing it, this one, I just, I absolutely love. It's the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance, which is super confusing. I wish it was called something else. Baked Powder in Highlight 01. I haven't used it since I got it, but it's beautiful. It just has like a beaut, I mean, I barely ran my finger over it, and it's just intense. Like, it's really intense. Now, this kind of broke me into it, I feel. I feel like I had highlighters for years, but I really didn't, oh my eyebrows like all messed up. I really didn't start using it, um, I don't wanna say heavily. This was like my gateway into highlighters. But I'll say that since using this, I've tried other things, I love other things. Now I wanna swing back to this and see if it's as good as I remember. My other one was kind of, I don't wanna say kind of, it was really old. The whole top was kind of like flattened. I had really used a lot of it. And I just thought I would dig into a brand new one, you know? This stuff don't last forever. Things get old. Don't put old shit on your face. Now, one thing I'm noticing is, now this, I mean, I barely tapped it, you can see. Holy good, mm, okay, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it to be this good, y'all. I really thought, mm, I'm so used to the other ones that might be a little more intense. This is good. Do you guys see? Now, I will tell you what makes this good. Now, where the matte comes in, this is almost like a flesh-toned, like, bright um, powder, like a face powder with the highlight mixed in. So when you apply it, it kind of, like, backlights it itself. Does that make sense? Because it has, like, a coverage. That, that I don't know if that makes any sense. Brad's cologne on me is, like, really throwing me off. It smells so good. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I just have not used this in such a long time. And I am loving it. What the hell is this? Oh, don't you hate it when you get like a little speck on your face right there? And it looks like you're trying to put a beauty mark there. No, thank you. I already have a little one. Do you see this? It's very pretty. It doesn't have like a weird, like any sort of like duo chrome like color to it. Yeah, I feel like you can really pile it up. Oh, y'all. This is good. It's better than I remember. I picked up another one of my foundations, my Clinique Acne Solutions in Fresh Alabaster. I need, speaking of foundation, I need to get a darker shade of that Bobbi Brown one. I love that stuff so much, but the one I got was just a hair light, so I need, I need to, I need to get another one. Oh, I got another, well, I haven't gotten another box, but this is my um, Basha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I was almost out of mine, so love that. Can you see my little beverage? I love these. I don't know, they're good. Peach Nectarine, love them. Put my little candle back here for ambiance. Let me grab it, okay, whoa. Um, so I had never had a Jo Malone candle before and I'm obsessed with the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. It's very difficult to show a lit candle. <laughs> this is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt and you know, I got it obviously because I love Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Let me tell you something though. This, to me, doesn't smell like the like the fragrance, like the actual fragrance. It did when I, actually no it didn't. You know what it has more of a scent? It has more of like a spruce, like a piney scent. So this I think I'm going, obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it out, it's a beautiful candle, but I think this is gonna be a really good one for like winter, like the holidays, because it is a beautiful scent. If you don't like heavy like Christmas tree typical, you know, like, you know what I'm saying, scents for the holidays, you might really like that, because it has that hint of like a, it just smells nothing like this. Nothing, nothing at all like this. Do you guys, I don't know, very strange, but here's what I did. So when you get the Jo Malone 
um, candles. They have this like cute little, you know, wrapping with the bow and it comes, it came in like a big pretty box, but whatever. But you know, like the candle itself has this and then it has like this bow that has tape under it and it's taping the lid to the candle. So when I took it off, the bow is attached to that, but I really love how the bow looks on the candle lid. So like, I don't wanna blow it out yet, but like when you, you know, when you put it on, I kinda like that. So what I did is I just kind of like took it off and I cut the tape, you see what I'm saying? So you don't like see that and I just stuck it back on like a little gift bow. So I thought that was kind of cute. Um, I think those should be on there anyway. I think that's so cute. Everyone, y'all need to run out and get that. I have never been so excited, so let me tell you. It is nice because I want to be able to look, like my big mirror is over here. I don't be staring off to the side the whole time. I can't like, that's why I look at the viewfinder a lot because I'm watching what I'm doing or I'm making sure that I'm like good. Sometimes like when I'm just doing my makeup in the morning, I, I need something a little closer, you know what I mean? But I've said for years that with a vanity or a makeup mirror, I don't want a mirror that's magnified. I like to have one that flips and I never even use the magnified side. If you know anything about a magnified mirror, you can't see anything through this far. You've got to at least be right here to that like little spot. And I'm not going to be doing this in videos. And I don't like to be doing that during the day. Anyway, I don't need to be that close. And I think a lot of times like there's a magic distance you need to be to do your makeup. If you're up too close, you're not seeing the full picture and you'll back up in your brows. I'll be like, hey. Um, they'll be real big or they'll be real small if you're tweezing don't don't tweeze in a magnified mirror But you guys this I saw on Nordstrom really surprised me um, It is a I don't want to say flimsy But it's not the nicest feel which I don't care I, I mean I hate it when people review stuff and they're like it felt flimsy. I'm like it's $35 Was it $35 or 40? I don't remember. I'll I'll link to it. So anyways, you put batteries in it, which yes, living for. Like, I don't need something that has to plug into my computer, that I have to charge, which is great, whatever. I don't like any cords around my vanity area. Stick some batteries in it, whatever. You flip it on so that when you're ready to use it, you just touch it, and it's like the perfect, you see, it is illuminating my face. Now, I don't always turn this on. These lights up here are obnoxious. A big old window above that, I got a skylight. I don't need a lot of extra light, but I like having that. So. I was finding with the other one, I was charging all the time, when I would walk by at night, you wanna talk about being freaked the hell out, you walk by here at night, like going to the potty, and that thing picks you up, and it's like big ring light in your face, scary. So, um, yeah, I don't know, I decided to go a different route, and plus, I think this is just affordable, I think anyone could grab this, and what matters is that it pivots just perfectly, um, you just change the batteries, I just think it couldn't be easier. So yeah, I, I love this, and it looks very like, um, like visually appealing as well. Do you know what I mean? It's not like obnoxious looking. It's just so pretty. So yeah, when you get it out, don't be like, oh, it's too flimsy. But y'all, what are you gonna be doing with it? You're not like hanging off of it or anything. But um, this actually feels very nice. Like I feel like that is made really nice. What I love about it though is it has this little tray. So I've just been putting my beauty blender in that. So how cool is that? You can see my obnoxious lights in the ceiling. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of ditched that little ring that I usually keep my beauty blender in. I kind of honestly feel like if you just have something like that that you can keep clean, it's better than like a counter or something, but it keeps it from rolling away. And it honestly, it's just sitting on one spot rather than like, sometimes that ring would freak me out because I would wash my beauty blender all the time. Like I'm, I'm obsessive about doing that. But it would sit in that ring, so it was always touching the part that goes right on your face. And I thought about that one day and I thought, I'm not washing that ring as much as I should ever. So yeah, that was kind of exciting to have that. So I'll link to that, definitely check that out. I'm trying to think of anything else to share with you guys. I do wanna share this top with you all. I need to do another clothing video so soon because um, I've gotten a lot of really good things I feel for spring. So I'm gonna show you guys my whole look. Okay, so I have this top, which is super like fun and frilly and floral and roughly. Super not my thing, right? But I don't know, something about like the scale of this, like it's such a large scale floral. It's black, which is like, you know, I'm all about. I just thought it was super fun. I love these jeans. I'll back up and show you in a second. But one thing I don't like about this, which I think I will cut off, <laughs> I wore it because I thought, let me just see. Um, I don't really love these straps. I feel like it looks a little like swimsuit-ish. There's really no reason for them to be there. I actually didn't tie it for a long time today just to see if it was like serving some unknown purpose. If anything, these tops will go up, but it kind of keeps you from it because it's got, you know, but um, because it, you know, it goes under your arm. But like at the same time, if anything, it creeps up. Like it doesn't creep down. So I think I'm gonna cut these off, but totally, a, it's cute. I mean, if you wanna leave it on there. 
I don't know, maybe it will. I could just tuck them if I don't, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so I have on these jeans, which are new. I have this bag, which I've got to talk about, you guys. I still have to do that video that I promised you with the, like, you know, with new kind of some new stuff. So, um, yeah, loving this. Let me stand on my chair because that's what I do. I don't have any shoes yet, so I might post on Instagram. Um, I'll kind of post the whole looks. So I found the perfect black denim. I was on the hunt, right, for the perfect distressed black denim. I found them. These are not super high-waisted. They're just right. They're super stretchy. They've got the squatability, which moms, you know, we've talked about the squatability factor. And then how am I going to show the ankle? I could just adjust my camera, but no. Oh, you don't want to see me jump around, right? Okay. Whoa. Perfect just distress, like raw hem. So perfect. Ow, my hip just popped. Um, so perfect. I don't want to get my bag too close to the flame. That's a little terrifying. Um, I don't need to be filming with an open flame. I have discovered that during this video. I am not that fancy. So yeah, I will give you guys the details on this guy soon. This has been on my wish list for a long time. And um, yeah, we'll talk about it soon. What else, you guys? I feel like I could talk all day. Um, but yeah, so like I said, get your carts ready. These sales get a little nuts, especially this one that runs... Um, on the weekend when everyone can shop. You know, if you're a Sephora shopper and you want to save a little, it's a great time to do it. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Watch the first one as well, where I talk about the Rex. Um, I do have that other one as well, where I talk about other Rex. But, um, yeah, love you guys so much. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.